Largs is a town situated on the west coast of Scotland. The town has a variety of cafes and restaurants, however, there is one place that Largs is well known for. We are going to be taking you back to 1935. Nardini's opened for the first time on 25th of May 1935 by Messrs P and Nardini Sons. A total of 4,000 people visited, but the question is, do you think Nardini's is important to Largs? Well, Nardini's is, of course, the biggest employer in Largs in the, the area, and uh, very important because it brings a lot of tourists to the area, as well as people come naturally to the seaside. But a lot of the other businesses feed off Nardini's as well from people coming to the area. But it's iconic, it's associated worldwide. When people think of Largs, they think of Nardini's Cafe, been here since 1935. It's a B-listed building. In historic Scotland were very keen, and when we redeveloped it, we were allowed to... Inside, it's actually nicer than it was, but we've kept the same feel. The Lloyd Loom tables and chairs that you see, where, none of the stuff is original, it's all, but that was the type of table here, they're all very expensive. The fit out is to sort of be listed. Outside is exactly as it was. We've tried to take it back to what it looked like in the 40s and 50s with the blinds and things you can see from old photos, but the planning historic Scotland were very keen that we wanted like the brickwork on the outside is very typical Art Deco at the time. The cafe accommodates 300 people. The cafe sells a different style of ice cream, such as Knickerbocker Glories, which are adored by many tourists. The bar in the cafe offers a range of Italian coffees and homemade Italian cakes made by Chef Mario. If you're looking for more choices of ice cream, head on down to the Ice Cream Parlour. The Ice Cream Parlour offers a wide selection of 32 flavours. This parlour is one of the key features to Nardini's. It is the most popular to all tourists who want to buy ice cream in Largs. I think the tourists enjoy Nardini's ice cream because there's so much variety and they get a good selection that they maybe don't get anywhere else. Plus it's part and parcel of coming for a day out or a holiday, you come and get an ice, ice cream and that's it. Makes you feel as though you're on holiday. <laughs> How has the way of ice cream making changed over the years? The ice cream we wanted to introduced the element of theatre into the building, so we remodelled down there. We built our own ice cream factory where you can actually sit and watch the guy make it artisan style, so the ice cream's heaped up like you see in Italy, so you get that beautiful display. Um, the equipment that we use nowadays, it's all state of the art, up to date, because there's sta standards that it has to meet for health and safety, environmental health standards. So it's all modern, the pasteurisers, and then there's the ice cream machine that actually mixes the ice cream and it fills it with air so that it's nice and when it's in the tubs that it looks nice and full. The restaurant accommodates 200 people and became Tony Macaroni's two years ago. The restaurant offers a variety of Italian food by owners David Ecke and Seth Marini. Tony Macaroni is as popular as the Nardini Cafe and offers customers the choice to have ice cream from the parlour. How do you promote Tony Macaroni? We used to promote as a word of mouth and I think that's the best way to do it because when you like a place it's probably better to just say but it's uh, on the internet, uh, even uh, at the advertisement on the road, you see commercial and uh, radio sometimes. So. Are there more Tony Macaronis in Scotland? It's another six just now and there's uh, one in Barris Road, one in John Street in Glasgow Merchant City, the other one is in uh, East Cobright, uh, Motherwell. Lan um, Livingston and soon is going to be open in Lanark too. Is Byers Road ideal for Tony Macaroni? <laughs> of course, like it's a very busy road and you can stop for the different kind of uh, like average price during the day and everybody can from the student to the old person to even a touristic person can stop there and have everything. Nardini's is loved by all generations from children to elderly. The three sections that make up Nardini's are vital to the business and will hopefully stay in Largs for some time. If you visit Largs, make some time to visit Nardini's, as you won't be disappointed, especially if it's ice cream. <laughs>